Well, COVID-19 numbers are steadily declining nationwide as more people get vaccinated, but some experts worry about whether the vaccine will protect against new variants of the virus. Channel 3's Karen Aguilar spoke with a local infectious disease expert about how effective they are against the new variants that have now become the dominant strains in transmission. Karen? Well, Joy, the Hamilton County Health Department is urging people to take COVID-19 seriously. Experts say the new double mutant variant could be resistant to the effectiveness of the vaccines. I spoke with an infectious disease specialist who tells us what we need to know. COVID-19 took the world by storm last year and has taken the lives of over 500,000 people in the U.S. Researchers scramble to find the solution and release vaccines to stop the spread. But just as the numbers have begun to drop, a double mutant strain has emerged, which originated in India and has made its way to California. And now it leaves our local doctors worried. The variant could stall the vaccine process. It's possible that uh, through natural selection and variation that you could get a uh, variant of COVID-19 that would not respond uh, to the vaccine. Vaccines target the spike protein of the virus, allowing our immune system to create antibodies to give us a fighting chance. The double mutant strain could change its spike protein, thus potentially making vaccines ineffective. It certainly shouldn't dissuade anyone from being vaccinated. Actually, it should accelerate our community's urgency to be vaccinated. The quicker people get vaccinated, experts say, the less opportunities COVID-19 could mutate further. The nice thing about the vaccine technologies uh, that we're using is they are easily um, adaptable to new variants. He says this means not all hope is lost and a booster shot could help protect us from the variants. So getting the shot is still the best option to prevent more lives from being lost. Dr. Jay Sizemore says vaccinated or not, people are warned that they should continue to follow CDC guidelines and practice caution until further notice. Reporting live in the studio, Karen Aguilar, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.